H3N2 is a subtype of influenza A virus that can cause seasonal flu outbreaks in humans. Diagnosis of H3N2 The diagnosis of H3N2 is typically made based on symptoms and a physical examination. A healthcare provider may ask about the onset and duration of symptoms, as well as any recent travel or exposure to others who have been sick with the flu. They may also use a thermometer to measure your temperature and listen to your lungs with a stethoscope. In some cases, your healthcare provider may order additional tests to confirm the diagnosis of H3N2 or rule out other illnesses. These tests can include Rapid Influenza Diagnostic Tests, RITS. These tests can be performed in a healthcare provider's office or clinic and provide results in as little as 15 to 30 minutes. RITS detect viral antigens in respiratory secretions and are most accurate when performed within the first four days of illness. However, they may produce false negative results in some cases, and a negative result does not rule out the possibility of influenza. Reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, tests. These tests are more sensitive than RITS and can detect viral RNA in respiratory specimens. RT-PCR tests are typically performed in a laboratory and can take several hours to produce results. Treatment of H3N2. The treatment of H3N2 typically focuses on managing symptoms and preventing complications. Most people with the flu can recover at home with rest, fluids, and over-the-counter medications to alleviate symptoms such as fever, cough, and sore throat. Antiviral medications may be prescribed for people who are at higher risk of complications from the flu or who have severe symptoms. These medications work by blocking the replication of the influenza virus and can reduce the duration and severity of illness if started early in the course of the illness. There are currently two FDA-approved antiviral medications for the treatment of H3N2 and other influenza viruses. Oseltamivir, Tamiflu. This medication is taken orally and is typically prescribed for people who are at higher risk of complications from the flu, such as older adults, young children, and people with underlying medical conditions. Zanamivir, Relenza. This medication is inhaled through a device called a discaler and is typically prescribed for people with uncomplicated flu who are otherwise healthy. It is important to note that antiviral medications are not a substitute for vaccination and should not be used to prevent the flu. The best way to prevent the flu is to get vaccinated each year and practice good respiratory hygiene, such as covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing and washing your hands frequently. In some cases, complications of H3N2 or other flu viruses may require hospitalization. Treatment in the hospital may include supportive care, such as oxygen therapy, intravenous fluids, and antibiotics to treat secondary bacterial infections. H3N2 is a subtype of influenza A virus that can cause seasonal...